Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. This is Jason. Right, today what I have here is the latest mobile router Ultra. Okay, so I have the UMR here, industrial, for comparison. Let's unbox this new baby and let's see what's inside. And let's open it up and take a look inside. What I understand is it doesn't come with any uh, power adapter or any of the powering uh, devices. You have to figure out a way how to power it. So let's take a look at the device itself. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is the router and it comes with the here yeah, SIM card holder and also it comes with the pin to open the SIM card holder. Let me remove this. Let's see what else is inside. Oh, the ding rail. He also has the ding rail as per what the industrial have. Screws. And that's all. Okay, so basically we have to insert the SIM card, power on using a type C or DC power socket, which uses a Molex connector, from what I see. And you can just scan the QR code and adopt it under mobility.ui and that's it okay but do note that there is a 30-day uh, free usage for the mobility.ui if you wish to use longer than that um, there is a subscription fee the last i saw was uh, 19.95 usd per year in order to use it okay one of the major difference that i see is between the mobility ultra and the industrial would be that the ultra basically has additional protection okay so the industrial basically has additional uh, protection so it has some ip ratings for it and for the ultra there's no protection for the power connectors and also the fast ethernet LAN ports all right there is also a uh, wi-fi antenna there's a single wi-fi antenna and two antennas for the cellular now for the cellular bands accordingly here it's on the lte 4g um, it has all the standard bands that's required um, for the high band which we have the b7 and we have the b1 b7 um, b3 okay which are pretty much standard for around the whole world okay i don't think this is locked to any of the carriers for the international version i'm talking only on the international version so on top of that we also have the oh band 26 okay so for the lower bands there are the band 26 for both the fdd downlink and uplink okay so that's very good which you don't normally see it and you have 50 meg uplink and 150 meg downlink okay for the 3g failover they have b1 b2 b4 b5 b6 b8 and b19 for those who are concerned about the bands that are available so for the carrier specification um, honestly speaking it is a very good value for money they have covered majority of the bands that is required for the rest of the world outside of the US and foresee that this will be a very good device for anyone who requires a 4G uh, bit failover or a 4G router okay there's two LAN connectors there are no PoE out uh, in this case but you can PoE in to power up the unit so there is a USB-C 5 volts 2 ampere and also the Molex connector okay there are molex connectors which can go out to usb-c which can be powered using a battery pack okay do keep a lookout for those cables if you need uh, just ping me and i'll tell you where to get them right so this is the umr ultra and the big cousin beside it the umr industrial do remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you have any questions please feel free to write and we will definitely reply you as soon as possible thank you